The Pelicans are visiting the Curryless Golden State Warriors, both in a bounce back spot, coming off losses as favorites. How do we bet this game? I'll break it down here in just a bit. I'm Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. October has been great for me. My all access clients are up nearly 55 units so far this month. We still have a few more days left in the month as well. And that includes that 55 units includes uh, 12 units plus 12 units in the NBA over the last five days. Wager Talk currently has a deal going on where you can get 30 day all access pass for $249. That's under $8 per day. I believe today is the last day for that deal. So make sure you check out my capper page at wt.buzz backslash RC for that deal or other premium picks and packages as well as several free plays um, on that page as well. Uh, now let's dive into this matchup between the Pelicans and the Warriors. Uh, just like last game, we have data now, so we can pull up themoneybar.com and show you how we use it. All right. So themoneybar.com, we got Pelicans versus Warriors. Uh, Pelicans road favorites, uh, minus one and a half. 217 and a half is the total. Obviously, we talked about um, Curry being out, but uh, also... Wiggins is game time decision. And then on the Pelican side, no DeJounte Murray or um, uh, Murphy is out as well for them. Uh, looking at the schedule, uh, actually the situational notes, both coming off a uh, loss as a favorite, bounce back spots, both first game of back to back. They actually play each other again tomorrow in the same spot. Uh, Port, um, the Pelicans lost to the Portland Blazers by 22 points uh, on um, uh, a couple days ago. And the Warriors coming off of that loss to the Clippers. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the historical matchups. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like the Pelicans won that last matchup. Pelicans two, two and one. So two and one straight up for the Pelicans uh, last season. If we look at the efficiency numbers, you can see defense strong for both teams here. Offensively, the Pelicans are really struggling. Uh, Warriors, uh, without Curry, this offensive rating should come down a bit. Um, if we look at the four factors, effective field goal percentage, offensive effect, effective field goal percentage should come down a bit as well. Um, defense is pretty solid here for the Warriors. Offensive rebounding advantage to the Warriors here. If we look at turnover rate, though, this is where the Pelicans can really um, take advantage. Turnover rate forced third in the league, um, while the Warriors are 23rd in turnover rate. So they're turning the ball over at a very high rate here. Uh, Pelicans, points off turnovers right there. If transition points um, might be might be limited here because look at that Warriors transition defense, pretty solid. But if you look at who they face, though, they played Portland and Utah in the first two games. And obviously, uh, a couple days ago, I did take the Warriors team total under, which hit, um, and I thought it was because of the inflated numbers from these two matchups. And I still think that it's pretty pretty inflated, in my opinion. Uh, because there's only three games, sample size. A lot of these averages are going to be inflated because of those two matchups specifically. If we look at um, within the arc, the paint field goal percent allowed, pretty decent for the Pelicans. Mid-range defense, pretty decent for the Pelicans. Uh, Three-point shooting might come down a bit with Curry missing. Um the corner three might be where the uh, the Warriors could take advantage of. But other than that, I think this is going to come down. The above the break three is going to come down a bit. Um, Pelicans above the break three is, is uh, defense is pretty decent as well. Uh, looking from a trend perspective, Pelicans not that great as road favorites. 0-2 straight up in the first half and against the spread. 0-3 uh, overall ATS in the first half. Um If we look at the over-under, unders in the first half as road favorites, 2-0 to the under. Uh, Warriors first half under 2-0-1 oh, on the season so far. Pelicans really struggling offensively on the road here, especially as road favorites. Uh, if we look at the Pelicans, their defense not that strong, 2-1 and one to the over for opponents, team totals. 2-1 um, and one to the under for the Warriors defense. Uh, but I think... In my opinion, this is a spot that uh, the Pelicans might show up. I think this is a bigger bounce back spot for the Pelicans than it is the Warriors. Also, I still think that the the numbers for the Warriors side is still a bit inflated, and they're not going to have Curry and potentially not Wiggins. Um, and I want to bring up a trend here that I brought up on Killer Sports. 
so what this says here is since 2018, when both teams are unrested, uh, I mean, sorry, when both teams are on the first leg of back-to-back -back games um, and they face each other again tomorrow, the home team is 13-28-1 and one ATS, 31.7% hit rate. That says to fade the Warriors in this spot. It seems like the Pelicans are road favorites here for a reason. Um, but I think one way specifically to, to tackle this might be the, the team total under on um, team total under on the uh, the Warriors. I think that's I think that might be the best way to go here. Uh, if you're looking at the schedule, we, we did take it uh, against the Clippers, right? We cashed there. I do think that the, the Pelicans defense is better than Utah's. It's better than Portland's. Um, these numbers right here is really inflated in my opinion. Um, you can see what happened here against a solid defense on, with the Clippers. Uh, the Pelicans defense, not as great as the Clippers, in my opinion, but still good enough to limit this Warriors, especially with Curry missing uh, and this being a first game of back-to-back -back games against each other. So I think that the best way to tackle this game, go, go with the Warriors team total under once again. And that number will go to the live odd screen page here. The Warriors team total under 108 and a half at DraftKings Bet Online. Uh, it has come down a little bit, 109 and a half from the open, but I still think 108 and a half is the best way to go. Let me just come back here. There we go. All right, so that would be the, the best way to tackle this game is that Warriors team total under. Let me unshare the screen here. Uh, so that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Make sure you leave a comment. I'd love to hear your angles. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the breakdown, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification button as well uh, so you don't miss any other breakdown from any of the other Wager Talk handicappers. Uh, they do NFL, football, baseball, I mean, uh, the World Series, NHL, all, a lot of game breakdowns, not only just the NBA. Um, also, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for premium picks and packages. We got that deal going on for the 30-day uh, all-access pass. There's also a deal on the site. Uh, let me see if I could bring that up here. There you go. Let me share that screen one more time. We have a deal right now here. Buy 30 days NBA pass and get 30 days of NFL free. Uh, currently um, number one in the NFL at Wager Talk uh, for the season. Also, um, uh, in the NBA right now, I talked about how, how things are going well in the NBA, plus 12 units in the last five days alone. So NBA and NFL going really well right now, and you can get both for the next 30 days for uh, $179. All right. Uh, with that said, always got to end the show with this. Uh, whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with our reaction. Until next time, peace.